are in the number 19 Westminster Shorter Catechism. Uh, ang pag-uusapan natin is about life's misery because of sin. Ito po ang tanong. What misery did the fall bring upon mankind? Na tinatanong kung uh, uh, anong kalungkutan or anong uh, miserableng buhay o kalagayan ng tao dahil sa kasalanan or pagbagsak ng tao dahil sa kasalanan. At ito po yung sagot. The fall brought upon mankind loss of communion with God and His wrath and curse so that we are justly liable to all miseries in this life, to death itself, and to punishment in hell forever. So, isa-isayin po natin ang uh, sagot ng Westminster Shorter Catechism. Una, tingnan muna natin yung tinatawag na the fall. Ang the fall dito, tumutukoy sa pagkakasala ni Adan at ni Eva at dahil sa kanilang pagkakasala, lahat ng tao ay naging makasalanan. So, that is what we call the fall of uh, man. At uh, ayon sa ating katikismo, because of the fall, humankind lost communion with God and are under His wrath and curse. So, dahil sa pagkakasala ng tao, yung dating uh, communion sa Diyos ay eh, naging uh, para magkaaway tuloy ang Diyos at ang tao because we lost communion with God and we are under His wrath. Yung puot ng Diyos ay eh, nasa atin at ganun din ang kanyang sumpa. Tingnan po natin yung nangyari sa Genesis 3.8 nung nagkasala si Adan at Eva, They heard the sound of the Lord walking in the garden in the cool of the day. Adam and his wife hid themselves. So, dati, pag nandyan ang Diyos, eh, mainit na fellowship. Pero nung dumating ang Diyos sa kanilang presensya at that time, eh, nagtago sila. Pinapakita dito yung nagkaroon na ng uh, enmity. Separation between uh, God and uh, man. Dahil sa pagkakasala ng tao. Sa Ephesians 2.3, makikita natin dito yung wrath. Among them, we too all formerly live in the lust of our flesh, indulging the desires of the flesh and of, of the mind, and were by nature children of wrath, even as the rest. So, katulad ng marami, katulad ng iba, eh, under din tayo ng wrath, children of wrath. Okay, yung puot ng Diyos, eh, nasa atin din nung hindi pa tayo uh, naging believers of Jesus Christ. So, kung dati, may communion ang Uh, tao sa Diyos because of uh, the fall eh nawala na ito, nagkaroon ng enmity kung uh, dati naman eh at peace ang tao sa Diyos eh dahil sa kasalanan, pagbagsak ng tao eh wrath ng Diyos dati ay blessings ng Diyos ngayon may curse na we are under the curse uh, sa buhay na ito yun yung sabi ng uh, Westminster now, yung third comment natin ay ganito dahil uh, ang tao at ang Diyos, meron ng enmity, separation. At dahil uh, ang tao is under God's wrath and under God's curse, eh, because of that, we are justly liable to all miseries in this life, to death itself, and to punishment in hell forever. Okay. So makikita natin yung effect naman ng uh, nawalang relasyon natin sa Diyos. And because we are under God's wrath and curse, eto na yung mga miserable uh, buhay na meron tayo. Meron lang mga miseries in this life. Kalungkutan. Meron lang hinagpis sa buhay na ito. At uh, kahit sabihin natin na ang tao, uy, masaya siya. Maraming mga, kahit hindi man pala tayo, masaya naman. Pero in reality, meron pa rin yung uh, kalungkutan sa kanilang buhay. Kakulangan sa kanilang buhay. Uh, kumbaga, kahungkagan sa kanilang buhay. Dahil nga, meron ng uh, separation between God and man. Dahil sa kasalanan. So, ang magbibigay talaga ng tunay dapat na kasiyahan, fulfillment sa isang tao ay ang Diyos. Pero dahil sa kasalanan, ito ay uh, affected na. Yung kanyang tunay na kasiyahan. Meron ng miseries in this life, kaya nagkakasakit tayo, may pandemic, may suffering, at iba't ibang mga pains in this life. Ang katahilanan natin, eh, ito po yung effect ng fall. That uh, we lost communion with God, we're under God's wrath, and then under God's uh, curse. So, yun po yun yung uh, uh, sitwasyon ng tao ngayon. And to death itself, at dahil din dito, alam natin na ang result ng kasalanan eh kamatayan din. Yung physical na kamatayan, kaya namamatay yung tao. And sabi rin dito, to punishment in hell forever. So dahil sa pagbagsak ng tao sa kasalanan, eh meron ng eternal hell, punishment sa tao. 
ang hell actually naka-reserve kay uh, Satanas at kanyang mga demons. Pero, ganun din sa mga followers ni uh, Satan and his demons, doon din nakalaan sa kanila yung eternal punishment na tinatawag natin na hell. And it is a uh, forever punishment. Now, sa Genesis 3.16 to 19, mababasa natin ang uh, pains, miseries na sinasabi ng uh, Uh, salita ng Diyos because of the fall of man. To the woman he said, I will make your pains in childbearing very severe. With painful labor you will give birth to children. Your desire will be for your husband and he will rule over you. To Adam he said, because you listened to your wife and ate the fruit from the tree about which I commanded you, you must not eat from it. Curse is the ground because of you. Through painful toil you will eat food from it all the days of your life. It will produce thorns and thistles for you and you will eat the plants of the field. By the sweat of your brow, you will eat your food until you return to the ground. Since from it you were taken, for dust you are, and to dust you will return. So makikita natin dito yung miseries of life, yung pains of life sa babae, sa lalaki, and then yung kamatayan. Yung sinasabi dito, until you return to the ground. Since from it you were taken, for dust you are, and to dust you will return. So makikita natin dito yung uh, uh, death, yung penalty ng kasalanan is death. And then, sa 2 Thessalonians 1.9, sabi dito, uh, They will be punished with eternal destruction and shut out from the presence of the Lord and from the majesty of His power. Napakita dito yung everlasting destruction which is eternal hell. Punishment ng mga tao na hindi kumikilala sa Diyos who do not believe in God, in Jesus Christ. So makita natin yung uh, uh, penalty or result ng uh, pagkakasala ng tao. But ito po yung good news, mga kapatid. Because of Jesus, we can have communion with God. So, pwedeng ma-restore yung ating communion with God which was lost dahil kay Jesus Christ. Yung kanyang ginawa sa krus ng Kalbaryo, eh, siya yung naging kabayaran ng kasalanan. Kasalanan ko, kasalanan mo, so that you can have communion, we can have communion with God. And then, ma-restore yung peace. Ha? Mawala yung wrath. Kundi magkaroon tayo ng peace with God. Hindi na yung galit ng puwat ng Diyos ang mapasa atin kundi ang kanyang kapayapaan. And then we will be blessed by Him instead na curse eh blessings in this life and eternally. Hallelujah. So dahil kay Jesus Christ, pwede na tayong uh, magkaroon ng buhay. Buhay na hindi miserable sa mundong ito. And yung nawalang eternal life, yung eternal dust destruction ang napalit. Wala na rin yon because of Jesus Christ. And we will live eternally. So ito yung paliwanag ng ating uh, uh, Westminster Shorter Catechism. At uh, makikita natin sa John 3.36, yung sabi ni Jesus Christ, Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. But whoever rejects the Son will not see light, for God's wrath remains on them. Sa mga hindi sumasampalataya hanggang ngayon, sabi dito, the wrath of God remains in them. Pero whoever believes in Jesus Christ, eh, meron siyang eternal life. Then, uh, sa Revelation 22.3, And there shall be no more curse, but the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it, and His servants shall serve Him. So, wala na rin yung curse ng Panginoong Diyos, uh, Diyos sa mga sumasampalataya sa Diyos. In this life, and even in the coming life. Meron, uh, when when uh, uh, there will be new heaven and new earth, yung earth na ito will become the new heaven and new earth, there will be no more curse. So, mag-start sa ngayon sa isang sumasampalataya kay Jesus Christ even when the new heaven and new earth will happen. Wala na rin yung curse. Kundi, ang sabi dito, the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it and His servants shall serve Him. Nga, na ngayon, hindi ibig sabihin na, uy, accepted na tayo ngayon sa pains and suffering in this life. Uh, meron pa rin. Meron pa rin pandemic, meron pa rin nagkakasakit sa atin kahit nananampalataya kay Jesus Christ, kahit Christians, ang kaibahan po, hindi ito po ay uh, hindi hindi natin ibinibilang na because of God's wrath or because we are under God's curse, iba na po ang perspective natin at yung perspective ng salita ng Diyos. Ito po ay uh, ginagamit ng Panginoon para sa ating pagpapakabanal, sanctification. Right? So we are being sanctified. So ano man yung nangyayari sa mundong ito, kasama pa rin tayo sa pains and sufferings, pero iba na po yung perspective natin. Ito po ay ginagamit ng Diyos to discipline us, and at the same time, para sa ating pagpapakabanal or sanctification. Hallelujah. Ito po yung tanong natin, what misery did the fall bring upon mankind? The fall brought upon mankind, loss of communion with God, 
and His wrath and curse, so that we are justly liable to all miseries in this life, to death itself, and to punishment in hell forever. God bless.